fun friends this is Janet with photography makes and today I'm coming on to do a little um, make with me I was asked to, I was requested to make a, a wedding card and um, her uh, colors are wisteria so purple and um, I pulled some papers this is what I've got going on here I've got white for my card base this deep purple the light purple this ivory color this shimmery white slash cream I guess and then a, a gold shimmer paper all picked out so um this is my little sketch here if you can see that so I was going to do a um it's going to be a white card base but then I was going to put a layer of probably the darker purple and then layer on a panel that was the lighter purple and then do a strip of paper or ribbon I'm not sure yet and then do um, the fall foliage by Honeybee Stamps. I'm, gonna, uh, I'm gonna cut all these out in all the various papers and kind of arrange them to be kind of fall-like. And then I was thinking of embossing my sentiment on my panel. So that is my idea. This is my card um, uh, layout so far. And um, I thought I would jump on and show you the beginning and we can kind of work our way through it. So I'm going to um, pause this for a second and cut out my leaves and my card base and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've cut all of my leaves out, my panels out, my card. This is kind of what I'm thinking. I'm debating if I want to go this way or the long way. I'm kind of liking the long way better. But I thought these look a little boring. So I am, let me move this. I'm going to add some Distress Oxide ink. And I'll end up looking kind of, can you tell, a little bit like this. So I'm going to go ahead and ink. Um, actually, I might ink the edge of this too. So I'm using, I'm sorry, Wilted Violet for this. So I'm going to just do a little edge here so that it kind of blends with the with the dark purple too, I think. I think that'll be a good idea. So we're just going to edge this paper here. I think edging, or not edging, but um, distressing always adds something. A little pop of something. So I'm debating, actually, should I just ink the cream pieces? Let's see. The shimmer pieces are more subtle when it comes to the ink, the adding the distress ink. At least in my opinion. See the difference? Like you can really see the color on this one, but not so much on this one. It's like a little bit more subtle. I think we're going to do the shimmer paper. So, all right. Um, and then I'm going to um, glue these together so it's like a little shadow. So there's a little bit of a... A little um, you know differentiation I guess or whatever so I'm gonna do that so these are non-traditional leaf colors obviously <laughs> um, but that's the fun of paper art you can make it whatever you want but I think these will turn out very pretty at the end Okay, I think those are the only two. I think I have two and two um, that are shimmer and then I've got the cream. So I'm going to take a minute here and um, glue these together. And then I'm gonna go find my sentiment because I'm not, um, I'm not sure what I'm using for my sentiment yet. So this is my collection of leaves so far, and uh, yeah, so let's get a glue in and then we'll assemble our card. Okay, so I decided that the bottom panel was a little boring, so I decided to use this Bonjour um, embossing folder by Contour Creations. And it created this really nice like little leaf pattern on the bottom. And then I decided to do the Mr. and Mrs. in the center of that since it was a blank spot. I'm using this stamp here. It's by Studio G. And I embossed it using Versamark and this uh, gold tinsel embossing powder. 
So that I think is the perfect touch to my front. I don't think it's boring anymore. <laughs> um, and sometimes it happens. Um, but I think I fixed it. So this is the layout of my card. I'm going to start gluing it together. Um, and I'm going to start by um, the vellum piece. So this is kind of what my layout is. And I like it. So we're going to kind of scoot it up here. Try to keep it in that order if we can. Um, I did do a 5 by 7 card. So I cut everything um, an eighth an eighth of an inch so that um, I had a little border. So I'm just using my tape gun here so I can put this down. So I did decide to do this card um, the long ways instead of um, landscape instead of portrait. So I'm just going to give this, try to put this down as evenly as possible. Because everything else is going to follow what this is. Okay, and then I've got some pieces tucked behind. So, um, like this piece is tucked behind this leaf. I'm going to kind of glue him first. He's on glitter paper too, so. I kind of want him to be like between and like to the side kind of thing and I guess I could cut off some of this bulk I don't necessarily need all these other little pieces here I'm going to kind of trim I think as I go but we are going to glue these onto the vellum so the inside I'm going to leave for my um the person that wanted the card, I'm going to have, I got a couple of different sentiments that she can choose from. I'll do this one a little bit like this, I think. So that, um, you know, I don't put something in there that she doesn't think is right for the couple um, receiving it. But I kind of, I kind of love this. I don't know what else I would add to this. Any... I hope you guys will share some ideas if there is something that you would add, um, whether it was maybe some greenery or, um, I don't know, some scroll work, even some stamping. I'm not sure. Um, I felt like the vellum gave it a bit of a nice touch. So I was pretty happy with the, uh, with the vellum. I'm going to stick this up here. So now it's just um, about arranging. I probably want that above this though, right? Okay, all right. We're gonna put this one here. So I'm gonna stick this leaf. I think I want that one on top. So, and I want this behind. <laughs> That's funny. I'm just going to add a little glue here. So we're going to, oh, I'm stuck. All right. We're going to do this. Put this in here like that. I'm going to kind of peel this up before it dries too much. Okay. Stick this one down. And then this one I'm going to tuck, I think, behind this piece here. Yeah, I think that's what I want. Oops, I wanted, I kind of wanted to make it a little uneven, you know, give it a little bit of uh, interest. I don't know if I put glue on this little guy here. I didn't. That's why he's sticking up. We'll fix that. Oh, we could also add um, some little gems. I think that would be really pretty too. I don't want to overdo it, obviously, because um, sometimes too much is too much. I find um, when you want elegant cards, um, simpler is best. Um, and clean, like, clean lines and stuff, I think, is better. But that's just my opinion, of course. You can do whatever you want. Um, so this shrunk a little bit because I did do some dry embossing. And then heat embossed it. So, 
it's a little bumpy, but what we're, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do um, my tape runner and then wet glue and hopefully that'll flatten itself out. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. You just got to make sure you place it because you don't have, um, it's not all liquid glue, so you don't have wiggle room to move it. It also um, ensures that your corners get stuck down. So sometimes that's nice as well. Okay. Moment of truth here. I think I want it right there. Hopefully, that's where I want it. So I'll make sure I get a good border all the way around where it's supposed to be. Okay, I'm gonna flip this over and smush it with my hands here. Woo! It always makes me nervous, right? Okay. Not bad. Oh, I hope she likes it. <laughs> Okay, and then this strip is gonna go right across like this to hide all of her um, little imperfections there. I'm gonna glue that. So we're gonna take our time here and just glue this down. Okay. Got a couple of the little leaf parts sticking out, but I don't think anybody's going to notice that. I noticed it because I'm up close to it and I'm the one making it. So, of course, you know, I would notice that. Um, let me see if I have... Um, oh, I'm sure I have little pearls. I'm not sure if I do pearls in this. I'd probably more likely do little crystally things. Hmm, it's a lot of bling, right? Um, I have... Ugh. A lot of stuff behind me is what I've got here. Um, let's see. Ooh, I have these little pearls here. And I have them in gold and white. I don't think I'd pick white with that cream there. But I definitely have gold. See if I can find some small ones. I think that would be a great little addition. Okay, and then let's see if we can find another small one. Oh, this container's so full. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to dump it. Do you do all the same size? I think I would do all the same size. Okay, here we go. So I'd put, probably put one here. And one like kind of in the middle, of course. Oh, that made a line. I didn't want to do that. So yeah, I got to play around with these sometimes. Because they end up looking a little strange if you have them, you know. Uh, do, do. Oh, do you like that? Yes or no? I think I'm going to, that's going to be the last, last thing I do, just to make sure that I like them on there. I think I like them on there, but. All right, so this is my card base here. So that will be, um, I'm going to glue that on and let it dry and that will be my card. So for my inside, I do use a piece of printer paper. Uh, which I haven't cut down to size, but I can show you how I do make a five by seven card really quick. Oops. Um, okay. And it's quite simple. So I, um, I find this to be the easiest. So this is an eight and a half by um, 11 sheet of paper. So if you score this at five, that's gonna be your center line. And then if you give this a little mark at seven, you know you need to cut there. So as you can tell, just fold this in half and this piece needs to be cut off. And then the, the where you marked it needs to be cut off. And of course, because it 
Bacardi is a five by seven. We need to make this just a tiny bit more, tiny bit smaller. So, and of course you can uh, trim as you go. It needs to be smaller, but so this will be the top of my card, but like this will be my inside. So it has like a cute little liner. So it's gonna look like that. And when you open it up, I'm gonna put my sentiment here and then my recipient can write on the top and the bottom and even on the back and on the card base, it doesn't matter. It's up to them what they wanna write. Some people just leave the sentiment and that's it. Um, but that is my a wedding fall wedding card um, make with me today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it inspired you a little bit. Um, and if you have any questions, let me know. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.